In this video we're gonna go for a medicine ball drill for explosive power development specific to the sport of boxing or really any combat sport that involves punching. We will learn how to utilize those elastic properties of our musculature, how to transfer forces from our whole body into the punch and how to have the correct mindset when performing those power exercises so that you train your brain to produce fast movements. Before you start this workout, just have a regular dynamic warm-up where you do some arm circles, rotate your hips, increase your body temperature a little bit, you can either run, you can either use a bicycle, and then take a very light ball like this, don't go full power yet, just do a couple of easy repetitions to make your body familiar with the movement, and then we will rest and go to the main part of the workout. So this is a partner drill, a medicine ball punch. I will stand on his opposite side there and I will throw him the ball and he will catch it. As he catches the ball, he will build this shock inside his body and he has to utilize that directly. Like as he catches the ball, he needs to redirect the force immediately to utilize this elastic energy that I talked about, otherwise known as the stretch shortening cycle. If he waits for too long here, this elastic energy will be lost as heat, so he needs to release it immediately, and not only immediately, but with full power. He wants to have the highest absolute mental effort in this repetition, because he wants to train his brain to recruit motor units, as many as possible, the more the better. You have to understand that a powerful action, it begins with a thought, and you need to have the intention, a powerful thought, to increase your brain's adaptation, to teach your brain how to perform actions with power. Now you can train this exercise specific for either the jab or the cross. They will feel a little bit different because in the jab, the energy when you catch the ball, it will be redirected to your lead leg and in the cross it's the opposite. So you need to make yourself a familiar with this before you start for real. So in the cross, for example, when you catch the ball, all of the momentum will be put on your back leg. And exactly as all of that momentum comes, you need to redirect it immediately. Imagine you're like a spring, an elastic band. And bam, transfer all of your whole freaking weight to that front leg and let them be released from the arm simultaneously. Then you will produce a shit ton of power. This is the purpose of the exercise, to teach you how to utilize this spring-like elastic energy and not only that but redirect the energy from one part of the body to another and therefore also produce powerful movements through explosive intentions that all begin in the brain. I also mix it up sometimes, for example in the jab I let him throw it in a static position and then when it comes to the cross I will throw it to him. Now of course it's not necessary to have a partner to perform this drill, but it will make the ID stick into you a bit easier. You can do this alone too, then you hold the ball like this, for, for example when you're doing a cross, you dip down into your back leg very rapidly in a very elastic manner, and you transfer all of that weight to the lead leg again as you release the punch. It has to be very elastic and very rapid. And when you're doing the jab you do the opposite. And for this exercise the purpose is just power development and speed so the ball it doesn't need to be heavy at all. 3 or 4 kilograms is enough and when that feels easy you can increase it a little bit. If your velocity or speed is sacrificed significantly the ball is too heavy, it's not worth it. You need a weight that allows you to produce fast movements. So if you're a long time viewer of my channel I already bombard you with all of this information, I'm sorry about that but repetition is the key. You have to, this is not about quantity, this is about quality on every rep. You don't approach this like a cardio workout. This is a power workout, it's very neural, it's all in the brain. So few repetitions. You can do five repetitions on one side and then five repetitions on another. Then you rest for a couple of minutes to really let this powerful system in your body, the phosphocreatine system in your body recover because this is the one you use, your most powerful system in your body. And then you go at it again. If you're a beginner, I recommend 3 or 4 sets at top, no more than that. When you get more experience, you can probably increase your output a little bit. And you do this first thing in a session, whether you're doing maybe a boxing session or a strength training session, you need to do this first thing, because it's a power workout, your brain 
your neural capacity needs to be fresh. If you do it at the end, you're already fatigued in the brain and you're not going to be able to put on some good work.